Good day, friends. I hope you're doing really well. This is Tracy Brown, and my team and I provide non-diet trauma-informed nutrition counseling for those of you who want to feel more comfortable in your own skin. And in this video, as you can notice, I'm in my I've cut the car office, and it is field day for my kiddo um, with her group and her different groups of kids that she hangs with. Um, we're not in a traditional school situation, so we have to make it happen um, for these uh, traditional activities to happen. So anyway. It made me think, I thought I'd hop in the car real quick and get out of the wind and the loud and the noise for a second to ask you all a question. When things are off the norm, your normal schedule, um, activities, um, even spontaneous things, what does the, uh, basically who runs the show? Is it your um, fairly competent or highly competent um adult caretaking voice that like has got your back or is it some other party that like just gets overwhelmed or thinks that it's a reason to restrict or um that it's like everybody else's needs food needs matter but yours don't so i just want to show you real quick like how i prepared it's nothing fancy it doesn't have to be exciting this is just if i can turn my screen i think i can yeah so real quick i mean Here's my stuff that I pack for my day. So my little backpack with my, you know, how I carry my gear around for the day and keys, wallet, la la la, plus some extra candy, extra water. And this is just my lunch bag, let alone what my daughter's got going on for her. And here's another water just because it's quite hot. And the reason this is so important is because we often forget when we're in these situations, again, that are off the script that you have to plan for. When you're in, in trauma mind, you know, fight, flight, freeze, or please, you don't really have much of your pre, you don't have much of your frontal load to like, oh, that's right, tomorrow's field day, and you're gonna be there like four hours, and it's gonna be, it's a sunny day, so you can see that I've got some pink on my cheeks as well. It's warm today. And we need to have foods that are both satisfying and extra water than you think you'll ever need or other kind of beverages that would be satisfying. Um, and when you're coming from a diet mentality, those things don't matter. It's almost like, oh, yeah, here's a day to like maybe miss some snacks and a, a meal and maybe I'll lose some weight this day. And you want to get really clear with yourself about you deserve to thrive just as much as your kiddo or the people you love and that. There's not really a day off. There may be a day off of processing or um, really looking deep in some, into some things, but um, recover your days like this too, where it's like, you know what? I'm not going to have my kitchen. I'm not going to have access to things. How do I get my needs met? You're thinking every day when you wake up, how do I get my needs met today? What's happening today? Even what's the weather like? You know, typically you might you need to carry so much stuff with you, but if it's an extended amount of time, and you want to have choices and like my lunch bag is filled to the brim because it's like you know here I know you know we've already had um, um some lunch but we're going to be here for a little bit longer so I'm going to want a snack probably at the end and um what are my choices versus like oh I gotta and it's okay if you just got to eat what you got to eat be mechanical get it done but ideally we want to have some choices too it's not just getting by anymore we don't want to continue to recapitulate survival living we want to thrive in the situations that we can. So thank you so much for watching. I would love to see in the comments below, like how do you plan ahead for days that are off script? If this is, if this is a brand new concept for you, like, oh, like I can carry just as much stuff around as you would for somebody you love, your kids, whatever. Yes, you need to have your own food bag too. Because again, you learn so much about hunger, fullness, circumstances, um, even if you get triggered by something like, yes, good. Now we get a chance to unpack some stuff. And one last thing that the Ignis Order has its, its tentacles in to be able to hijack your thriving. So thanks so much for watching. If this video is was helpful, you, if you know somebody who really struggles when um, things are off schedule and they need um, just some encouragement, that this is just as much a part of like doing a meal plan, checking in with hunger and fullness, all the things. It's just really important that um, this be put into the mix as well, because not everybody, every day is going to be the same. If you're in hypervigilance, that means the goal is trying to make everything the same, but that's not exactly good for us. So thank you for so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.